All right, you ready? Yeah. You're with Lexi Thompson after a two under 70. You're used to playing in hot, certainly. Uh, doesn't mean it's any fun. <laughs> but, but overall, particularly, your back nine looked like you had a pretty good day out there. Tell me, uh, how do you feel you played today? Yeah, overall, it was a very steady day. I think there was like two iffy holes, um, basically maybe number nine and number 10, where I had some good saves in there. But overall, very steady and um, took advantage of a few birdie putts that I had um, on the back nine and made a longer putt, I guess, on 15, um, whatever it was, for birdie. So overall, it was a very steady day. But yeah, I'm used to playing in the heat, being from Florida. So I just made sure I drank a water a hole. Um were you watching the leaderboard at all? I know at one point, I mean, Inji was ahead by as far as seven. She's having some major struggles on the hole she's on now, but is coming back to the field a little bit. Were you watching or were you just trying to play your ball? Uh, no, I honestly, I've been trying not to watch leaderboards at all anymore. Um, I've just been trying to focus on my own game, my emotions. Of course, like I'll have my caddy will watch it if there's needed to make an eagle or something. Probably not going to be here, an eagle. Um, but other golf courses for that matter in that circumstance. But I'm sure he'll keep an eye on it. If I have to go for a shot, he'll let me know. But I'm just trying to focus on my game, my emotions. That's all I can control. And whatever the outcome it is, it is. It is. We'll open to questions. Start with Steve. You know, Lexi, I'm, I'm looking at the par fives this week, and the scoring average has been a lot higher than I thought mm -hmm. they were going to be. You, you didn't take advantage of any today. Is it just that they're playing that difficult, or what's the what's the status of the fives out here? Yeah, they're just longer. They're all longer. They moved one up today, and I think they moved it up about 40 yards, and there's a creek on the right, and it was 255, 260 to cover it. I'm like, I don't really have that. I mean, I like to think I hit it far, but not that far in the air. And it wasn't just really worth it. I saw where the pin was, and I was like, I'll just take my wedge um, at it. So I ended up hitting a two iron off the tee. So they're just playing longer. Um, they're not necessarily birdies. Even if they do move them up, they tuck the pins really close to the side. So um, even if you do miss it going for the green, it's not going to be an easy up and down. Gene? Yeah. Uh, Lexi, you mentioned the, the putt on 15. Can you just kind of? How, what was the distance on that? Can you kind of take us to the line, the re, and walk mm -hmm. us through that? Yeah. Um, yeah, 15. It was, I had about, I guess, 165 in or something like that, or 170. And I hit just an eight arm because all you have to do is land it a few on there and ended up having about 30 feet or so and kind of up a hill. And then the pin was down on the backside of the hill. Um, and it was only about maybe a cup out right overall for that long of a putt. So I was just trying to focus on getting the speed correct um, on those kind of putts who just really focus on speed and ended up curling in there. So it was always a nice surprise. And, and for you, do you even think about what a reasonable number of strokes behind is for you to chase to have a chance to win? I mean, and you struggling here. It could be two or three by the time this is over when you, when you see it off tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's something I, I don't even want to think about. Um, I'm going out tomorrow playing like I have the last three days, um, playing relaxed, playing free, and just focusing on my game. Um, whatever all the other girls do, that's, you know, their control, and um, I'm in control of my game. That's all I can focus on. Keely? I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how different um, the course is playing today compared to like Thursday, and if there's a certain type of player that was favored on Thursday that is totally different to who's favored today. Um, Thursday, I would say it was definitely playing a lot softer. Um, they didn't move any tees up at all Thursday. If they did, they were a matter of three to five yards on the tee box on the same tee. Um, so they're starting to move up a little here and there, um, certain tee boxes, but um, but like number eight's drivable. But Thursday, I would just say played a lot softer. Um, I would say that they're getting a lot tougher with the pins um, over the last day or two. There was some today, and I was like, ooh, I'm not going at that one. <laughs> um, but that's how majors should be. They should be a challenge. They should be difficult. And you mentioned um, leaderboard watching. When did you stop watching leaderboards, and why? Well, I can't put a date on it. But um, <laughs> I just realized, I mean, same thing with the mental state, um, looking at leaderboards does me no good, um, honestly. So really just focusing on my score, my shot at hand, that's all I can do. Got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Amy, then Noah. Lexi, you've been a fixture on leaderboards this season. What do you feel like is that missing piece you'll hope to find tomorrow? Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm just happy that I'm putting myself in contention. I know I've put in the hard work. And just to see it pay off uh, means the world to me. I know I'm in a good state with my game and just my mental state. So going out tomorrow, enjoying enjoying the walk with my caddy and hopefully a lot of fans out there supporting us. And, you know, whatever whatever score I shoot, I shoot. You talked about that change in mental state yesterday and, and the recent loss of your grandmother. How mm -hmm. much is that loss? Is, is she inspiring you here this week? Yeah, I mean, I know she's with me each and every week. Um, the Open was very difficult. Um, you know, time 
people say time heals. I'm hoping that does. Uh, but I know she's here every step of the way with me. She was my biggest fan and watched every single shot. And I know she's glued to the TV if she was at home right now. So um, she was my number one supporter. So that just gives me the drive to be out here and do it for her. What do you think she would say to you for tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> um, probably just, she is so feisty. Um, so probably just go get them. Uh, just like go for it. Like she was always like that, no matter good or bad. She's like, you got it. So you gotta love her. We'll close with Noah. Um, Lexi, it's not clear yet, I guess, but you could be in the final group tomorrow. I'm just wondering sort of what's that like playing in the last group on a Sunday, especially in a major? Oh, well, it's amazing. Um, you know, you always want to be in the final group um, in any tournament. That's, you know, you're putting yourself in contention and um, a chance to win. So, like I said, I, I loved that the hard work has been able to pay off for me. I've been putting in the time. So to see it pay off and pay dividends um, means the world to me. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully we get great weather, a lot of people, and the course is in great shape for us. So I'm just going to enjoy every bit of it. Great. Thanks, Lexi. Have yeah, a good night. You're welcome. Thank you.